Turns out that I've been estimating my dog's age wrong because multiply by seven is not a real thing. Instead, geneticists at UC San Diego created this chart and it's curved, which blows my mind. I love this Cleo Abram video on a 2020 paper that looked at a different way to correlate dog years and human years. Of course, the classic rule is what all my math followers recognize as a linear function. That is, you take your dog's age, you multiply by seven, and that gives you back some kind of human years age. It's easy enough to imagine where this initial linear rule came from. If you just take a bunch of ages of dogs when they die and a bunch of ages of humans when they die and correlate those together, you'll see this roughly one to seven kind of relationship. It appears most of the time when they die, humans are about seven times as old as dogs are. Another way to think about this is to plot out mortality, human mortality and dog mortality in a histogram where we kind of look at what age most people are when they die and then just kind of try to scale the dog histogram onto the human histogram. Instagram, and when we do that, you see this roughly one to seven relationship. The problem the researchers found is that this doesn't really correlate the kinds of aging milestones you would associate with a dog's life and a human's life in the way that we would expect. That is, a one-year-old dog isn't like a seven-year-old, as the researchers found. A one-year-old dog is more like a 30-year-old. They can have doggy children and, I don't know, rent doggy cars. So if you look at the original paper, you can see this graph that I've got above me, and this is in the original paper. I did not make this up. I absolutely love that they illustrated human aging with pictures of Tom Hanks. When I saw this curve initially in Cleo or Miss Abrams video, I don't know how she wants me to refer to her. She can let me know in the comments. I immediately thought of a logarithmic curve. And so I dove into the paper and that is precisely what's going on. So when you pull up the data, it doesn't necessarily look super logarithmic until you kind of start to spread it out a little bit. And then you can start to see the shape of that familiar logarithmic curve coming from the negative negative y axis increasing relatively quickly at first and then kind of flattening out as it moves to the right. In fact, we can also get Desmos to perform a logarithmic regression for us. And when we perform that regression, we can see just like the original researchers found a logarithmic curve with parameters of 17 and 33. That is roughly if you wanted to find your dog's age in human years, you would take the logarithm of the dog's age, multiply by 17 and then add 33. So a dog that's one years old, well, the logarithm of one is zero. Zero times 17 is zero. Zero plus 33 is 33. A one-year-old dog is about 33 human years old. A nine-year-old dog, on the other hand, the natural logarithm of nine is just a little bit bigger than two. Two times 17 is 34. 34 plus 33 is 67. So your nine-year-old dog is like a 67-year-old man or woman, retired, ready to enjoy their finer days.